Hey guys, it's makeup basket time. All right, I'm gonna start off with my nails because they're bare and last week they were bare. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I pulled this out a while ago. Whoops, never used it because I've been so behind on my nails, but this is Sinful Colors in Blue Persuasion. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some sparkle in there that actually has like, it's pink sparkle. So I'm gonna use that and I may just use this Julep um, kind of super chunky, this is Kirby, super chunky glitter. It's just like shards of silver, really fun. So I think I'll use those guys this week. Now, it may look a little emptier. I've been purging a lot of stuff in my makeup collection. I've gone through like my setting powders, my foundations, my concealers, like guys, look how empty my concealers area is. I know there's still a ton, but whatever. Um, and I still have to do everything else but i'm starting so let's start with foundations i think i'm gonna pull out my it cosmetic cc cream um absolutely love this i have this in medium yeah in medium so i'm gonna pull this out and hmm actually let me pull this guy out too the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation and I have this in fair so I think I'll use those for concealers I really wanted to try I had contacted uh, it cosmetics just to see if they'd be willing to send me you know anything just to try out because I am a big fan of their what is it that I have um, oh this concealer this guy the bye bye under eye so they went and sent me this and this is supposed to be like your eight hours of sleep in a tube um, but this is the waterproof version so it's the bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging concealer and this is in neutral medium I haven't used this in a while so I'm going to use my L'Oreal true match mineral um, powder this is in light ivory this is really nice it's very fine so I'm going to use that guy and let's look at blushes. Now guys, like I said, I have a lot of decluttering to do. So I'm gonna try and use a whole bunch of things um, just to see about color payoff and stuff like that. So I have this little mini NARS um, Laguna bronzer. So I think I'm gonna try that. And while I'm at it, sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's like other bronzers in here that I haven't used in a while, but I more or less know, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this also. This is the CoverGirl True Magic Sun Kisser Bronzer. Now it is a cream and I got it a while ago and I kept it thinking, oh, this is great for summer, but um, I didn't really use it this past summer. So I think I'm gonna try those two and, uh, and really just be like, you know, just be honest with myself um, about this guy. And for blush, I'll use Giddy Pink from Bare Minerals. Test this out. I've had this for years and years and years and years. So I'm going to use that. And I think I'm going to try these two together to see how similar they are. You know, they I definitely see different undertones. The Essence is in Sweetheart and this NYX is in Dusty Rose. I really do like uh, the NYX color and I love the texture of these. So I think I'm going to test those out compared to each other. Um, color wise, definitely gonna, you know, I'm just gonna pull these two Milani ones out. This is Luminoso and Coralina. Yeah, this is Coralina. They're just like really sparkly, so I wanna try them. And if they're that sparkly, I'm gonna, you know, if that sparkle and glitter transfers to my face, I'm gonna get rid of them because I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling that, guys. And I haven't used this guy in a while, my Wet n Wild Fergie. Uh, shimmer palette rose champagne glow as a highlighter so i think i'll use that and i have all these cream ones i forgot about so maybe Yay. next week i'll work on my cream products um and maybe i'll tr i'll throw this guy in. i think i'm just being too i think i'm being too over ambitious so let's just leave it with that because i have like six blushes already in there um now I want to do the same thing with shadows because I have a lot of singles that I have to go through. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, getting, touching any of these is going to be extremely, extremely difficult for me. So I think I'm trying to look at what all this is. Oh, this is so pretty. You know what? I'm going to try both of these guys out. This is from Avon. 
it's like one of their like paint pot like things and it's a cream shadow and prune and then this is violet uh which is eye teeny like that nail teeny brand and they look so similar so i think i'm going to compare these okay oh my word <sighs> i'm not going to be able to part with this i know it it's so beautiful you really do like that. This is that other Julie, uh, Jessie's Girl, Jessie's Girl Cosmetics Baked Shadow and Plum Frost that I'm like obsessed with. I really do like that. Oh wow, I haven't used some of these. See, that's the thing guys. Like I just don't really use all these because I have so much. So I think what I'm gonna do is pull out these guys. These I'm kind of on the fence about, like they're nice colors, the Maybelline quad uh, and Twilight Raids is good quality, but I never reach for it. This is another one where I just keep keeping this Love and Florence by NYX because of this like salmony pink color, peach. It's just gorgeous, but I don't remember if there's good color payoff. This dove, this, uh, excuse me, this dove, this does have one matte, which is nice. So I just want to throw in this Wet n Wild Fergie limited edition in rose parade because it has those purples and i'm going to be using those purple bases so maybe i can work something out there and that will just have to be it for now i'm going to use my l'oreal smoldering eyes this is like that big fat liner it's really great i love this liner i'm going to grab this i'm going to grab my um essence gel liner in midnight in paris and my wet and wild fergie in um gunmetal grape try that purple out okay oh and then mascara i'm gonna grab the scandalized retro glam by rimmel because i can't remember if this is dry or not so and i don't like the wand it's like one of those weird curvy wands that kind of looks like a wave and it doesn't catch it's really hard to get my inner and outer uh, lashes so i'm gonna grab this and then I'm actually gonna grab these two, which I know I'll use. This is the Volumize by Model Co. It came in our last Ipsy bag, um, and I did open it and use it once, so I need to start using it. And then this is um, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes, and this is a deluxe sample size that my friend Jen sent me. Jen from Glam Moms. Okay, lips. Clearly, I have not touched this drawer. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start here. Like I said, I'm uh, like I mentioned earlier, I contacted It Cosmetics and they sent me this uh, Vitality Gloss Stain in Marvelous. It's Marvelous Darling, and this is just an amazing gloss. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to use this. Um, I also was bad because I'm not supposed to be buying anything, but I got these two glosses from Revlon. They're like the new ones, and they have like the cute little jewel tops, and they're just so pretty. This like nudie kind of color has like a pink undertone shimmer. And then this is just like iridescent and gorgeousness. So the one on the right is Smoky Topaz. And then this is Pink Diamond. And these are like their H Revlon HD lip glosses. So I am obsessed with them. And I almost like don't want to even open them. Isn't that so crazy? I'm a crazy person. Okay, so I have glosses. Um, and the thing is I have a lot of glosses and I don't really use them all the time, but, um, I feel like they're not great. And after trying that It Cosmetics one and how amazing it is, I realize I'm not using some of these because they're not great. I just saw this. This is my CoverGirl, uh, Blast Flipstick Duo in Flashy 815. And it has like this really, um, like dark vampy purplish color and then like a, you know, kind of shimmery pink. So it creates a nice ombre. So I'm going to whip this out because I haven't used this in a while. Um, and I think I should whip out one of these guys too. I got all of these little guys. I have like one, I have a red one and then a few pink ones. Um, they're from Sleek, the pout paints. I got them on Ediv in a trade. So I'm going to take this one and this is in port number 159 so it's like a wine purple kind of color thanks i have some deeper colors so let's just maybe stick um to something a little more neutral i'll grab bavarian cream by bare minerals really pretty pinky nude um i'll grab that i'm gonna test this guy out also uh, light beige frost. This is just a wet and wild. One of my girlfriends at work had picked this up and it didn't work for her. So she gave it to me 
and let, I just need to test it out. And then let me grab a red. Ooh, I was gonna try one I haven't worn in a while, but this is um, Hakari. We got this in our last Ipsy bag also, like last month. This is Cabernet. Really, really pretty. I think I'll do that. Mm, love it. Okay, and I have tons of glosses, and I showed you my uh, nail polish and everything like that, so um, if, yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna leave it there. Hashtag what's on your face and let me know what is on your face, what you've been loving and hating. If you guys have tried these HD glosses and you know what makes them HD, please let me know because I don't buy into all that hype. And if you have purge videos or if you're doing any kind of clean outs like that, let me know. I'm definitely interested. I'm like obsessed with those videos right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Have a good weekend.